This Ultras on study is regarding a uh, patient aged uh, 59 years, feeling of a lump in the pelvic region that uh, extends into the abdomen. Now this is a longitudinal view of the pelvis of uh, this 59 years old female showing uterus. Now this is a post menopausal uterus. Mayors 6.8 cm in length, 3.1 cm in anterior posterior diameter. This is the uterus, this area. This is the cervix and uh, this is a longitudinal view, this is the urinary bladder, okay. Now you will see that uh, adjacent to the urinary bladder there is uh, a cystic area which shows tiny calcification. This is the urinary bladder in longitudinal section. This is the cystic area. Now see, it's clear in its upper portion. This is fluid in the cyst, and uh, this is this is the debris uh, within this uh, cystic area, along with tiny calcifications, and there are a few lineal calcifications as well. Now, when I move the probe upwards. Here I see multiple gathered together septas. These are all septas. These thin thread-like linear areas are all septas within this uh, cyst that is, uh, you can see, arising from the pelvic region and now extending in the midline and expanding on both sides of the midline up to the epigastric region. Now this is the epigastric region where I am. See the configuration. Now we, it's very difficult to measure its size because of uh, its dimensions. But this uh, initial study was to uh, make you aware of the fact that this we are seeing a pelvic uh, cystic hair mass that is uh, full of echoes. Now you can will you will be able to see movement in this uh, debris or internal echoes. If I keep the probe in this location for some time you will be able to see the debris. See this one. This is the clear view at the anterior part of the cyst. This is a thick septum and here we see another septum. Now septas are more on the medial side of the uh, right side rather of the of the cystic uh, mass and it has a um, thin covering. It's multi-septated. These are all septas in the center of this image. These are all septas. These are all septas. So this is a multi-septated thin wall cyst with dependent region, almost half filled with, if you see that uh, if I take this margin, I can see the anterior portion is clear fluid and the lower one contains medium level debris 
or uh, internal echoes or sludge, uh, uh, whatever, with few tiny calcifications. This is a calcified area. Now, we have to see whether it relates to the gallbladder. Now, this is the gallbladder and the, it does not, it does not relate to the gallbladder. The Krambasa like is a rope road. Roko? Now, this is the gallbladder soluble and these are the calculi within the gallbladder. These are. It is, this shadow is from the uh, calculi within the gallbladder. Now this is the wall, anterior wall of the gallbladder. These are the calculi. This is the shadow from it, from the calculi. Is there any focal region within the liver? Roko. This is the right lobe of the liver and this is the left lobe of the liver. We <coughs> left and right both. Now here I will concentrate on the left lobe. Okay. Salilo. This is the liver. This is the middle hepatic vein. This is the left lobe of the liver, the portal vein. At uh, the uh, region of the portal hepatis, no focal region seen uh, relating to the uh, liver. Now, what about the pancreas? Can we see pancreas separately? Yes, here we are. This is the, now this is the pancreas, this band. Body of the pancreas. This encephaled area is the pancreas, this is the suprenic vein, this is the superior mesenteric artery, uh, vein, superior mesenteric vein, this is the superior mesenteric artery having echogenic borders, this is the aorta. So, there is, uh, it does not relate to the, this mass does not relate to the, uh, these areas as it's not unusual to see biliary uh, pathology being with this uh, sort of um, pathology that I have shown you. This is the gallbladder, right? and these are the calculi within it. Yeah, you can see the landmark for the gallbladder as well. This is the portal vein at right angle from the neck of the GP. These are the calculi. No peripheral is seen. No paraortic plan. Adenopathy is seen. Both the subdene and the left kidney. Now this is the subdene. This area. Subdene. No in the left hemi. This is the left hemidiaphragm. No fluid seen above it. The kidney. Left kidney is normal. So all what we see is that we saw that the uterus is also normal keeping in view the age of the patient with normal myometrium, no focal lean, endometrial canal is uh, okay for the age of the patient. This is the transfer section and this is the longitudinal section. Again, now this is, this picture it's very much consistent with uh, mucinous cyst adenoma of the ovary. So this is a case of mucinous cyst adenoma extending from the pelvic cavity occupying almost all of the abdomen. A large mucinous cyst adenoma. Thank you.